We'll call the Greenwood Board of Public Works and Safety meeting to order June 19, 5 30 p.m. We'll call it, please. Mr. Rutherford? Here. Mr. River? Here. Mr. Collin? Here. Thank you. Minutes of our last meeting of June 5, 2023, been disseminated to members of the board. Any corrections, additions, or deletions from staff? Carrie Nunn, is there a motion for approval of the review? So moved. Second. For the discussion? Carrie Nunn, all fair say aye. Aye. Thank you, Pastor. First on our agenda tonight is uh, Jason Drake, 409 East Broadway Street. Mr. Drake, are you here in person or in online? His petition, so we'll skip it. Next, we'll move to Adam Peeker from the HWC Engineer. Good evening. Good evening. Good afternoon. <laughs> Hi, uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Adam Pieper. I am a community planner with HWC Engineering. Um, here to uh, request approval for our post contract for the Greenwood Comprehensive Plan. Um, answer any questions you may have regarding that. I'll say um, we're excited about this opportunity, uh, and as part of the HWC team, we also have a, a sub consultant that would be assisting us in this effort, Stantec. Um, we envision this to be a 12-month, four-phase process, um, and really to act as an extension of Gabe and the city team and facilitating uh, this conference plan up, up, update. Um, since the city's current conference plan was adopted in 2007, I think uh, we can all acknowledge a little bit of change the community since then, and uh, a, a unique opportunity and opportune time um, to undertake this effort. So. I'm happy to answer any questions about our process, uh, scope of services, or contract in, in general. Questions for Adam? Dave, anything you want to add to this? Not really at this time. I'm uh, also excited to get this comp plan underway. We're here for uh, any questions about our uh, scoring process for selecting HWC or just any questions you have in general about the comprehensive plan or comprehensive plan process. Uh, but I would hope that you guys consider this. Uh, I think it's going to be a uh, momentum moment. Uh, important. Important. That's an <laughs> easier word to say. Uh, step for Greenwood and just uh, really something that we can uh, look back at with pride. Uh, does this include review of the ordinances? Does that mean in, in the so this is not a unified development ordinance update. Uh, these documents do speak to each other. One uh, kind of sets the tone for the other. Uh, right now, staff internally is going through and reviewing our unified development ordinance, and we will definitely uh, take. Uh, into consideration the uh, public engagement and uh, the efforts that the plan, uh, comprehensive plan produced, uh, but they would not directly be editing the UDO. Yeah, and I'll just say um, a review of the UDO would certainly be part of our background and analysis phase. And then when it comes to making recommendations and kind of translating those into action and implementation, um, certainly we would indicate or highlight where the conference of plan is supported or is not supported by the unified development ordinance and what some potential amendments may be. Um, but to Gabe's point, it would not include kind of specific ordinance text. How soon um, after uh, this would be approved that you guys would start your efforts? Yeah, so we're, we're ready to start um, as soon as uh, the contract is approved. Um, what would happen is we'd have kind of a, we've already had a scoping meeting and informal discussion with um, Gabe and his staff about what their interests are in this process. We'd have an organizational meeting. Um, and, and as soon as essentially the city would have the project steering committee organized, we're ready to go. Is this something that's budgeted? Uh, yes, we do have a budget uh, for the comprehensive plan 
it, it's not coming specifically from the planning division, uh, but there is a budget for the city for the comprehensive plan. Terry, the administration is on board for this. Yes. I'll move that further. I'll say. For the discussion. Yeah. How many firms did you interview? Uh, we're really happy to receive 10 very good submittals uh, for this comprehensive plan. Uh, so uh, people are definitely looking to work at Greenwood. Uh, from that 10, we narrowed it down to our top three. So we have interviews with the top three. Uh, from the interviews and the previous middle, HWC did rise to the top. For the discussion, questions? Sam, do you need anything from your office on this? Yep, we've already reviewed and approved the contract. Okay. All in favor of the motion to say aye. All right. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. I should also mention, uh, Advisory Plan Commission did give a favorable recommendation for this comprehensive plan with HWC. Okay, great. Thank you, Gabe. Thank, Thank you, Gabe. Mr. Deputy Mayor. Good afternoon. Chairman Lawson, Deputy Mayor from the record. Uh, I believe you should have been sent uh, an updated job description. So within code enforcement, there's currently three code enforcement full-time officers uh, wanting to, we're not increasing the staff size, but we want to turn one of those three into a supervisory position. And the updated uh, job description you should have before you. So, uh, Looked over by uh, legal as well. I don't believe there could be some tweaks later on, but uh, I think for right now, we're actually just starting to pull away from here. But you're uh, primarily looking in house to do this? Yes. Questions for Terry? I move that we approve the job description for the code enforcement to the setting. For the discussion? Very good. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Duncan. Kenny Duncan, Street Superintendent. Come before the board tonight to select a salt provider for 2024. I sent out and got to three companies. Gill, Morton Salt, Detroit Salt. And the uh, bill come in at $95.44 a ton. Morton came in at $97.88 per ton. Detroit, who is now merged with Morton, didn't turn in, <coughs> didn't turn in the bed. <coughs> with that being spent, I'd like to have <coughs> car deal for $95.44 a ton and get the uh, legal department to work the contract. You, you've done work with cargo before? We did. We had them last year. They were pretty good. Okay. Questions for Kate? So all the, uh, I think it's maybe a couple of years ago, we had salt shortages that all kind of go away. Yeah, I don't know. We will this year. It depends on the weather, but a lot of them still got a lot of salt sitting around from last year. So. Is this through a co op? Or is, this is not a co op. No, we, it's just an individual thing. Uh, we seem to have better luck sometimes when they go with, you know, like the state thing. We some of those people don't get their. We've had pretty good luck doing what we've been doing. Further discussion? Yeah, I'll pray to say aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Duncan. Ready?
not very clear superintendent. Uh, in May, the board approved setting up an option to get rid of some vehicles and equipment uh, that has been set up for to start that's being online for Christmas auction house to start from June 28th and wrap up on July 5th. And tonight I am just here to ask for approval of the uh, list of vehicles and equipment for this auction. And do you have this list that can do? I or you will have access to no, it? I do have the list because we did the proper legal notice for the auction. I just didn't put the pieces together, it was the same, so I didn't post it. Okay. I apologize. We have it. Okay. Todd, Todd's in the Questions for Todd? Yeah, pleasure. Cool. I move that we approve the request. Second. For the discussion. There you go. I'll take a say Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Jean Rank, Government Community Relations Manager uh, for Duke Energy. I'm here today to request a, a road closure, a four hour road closure for Damare Road uh, to replace a, pull, a transmission pole that we have identified failed or rotted. Um, we're not able to access the pole from the field as we originally thought and need to use the roadway to do so. Um, we'll have to take an outage and uh, need to coordinate that uh, road closure with that outage. We're looking at Wednesday, June 21st for the outage uh, and either from 10 to 2 p.m. or 11 to 3 p.m. and request uh, approval from the city to do so. So, coming with my directions, do you, this pole is closer to the Honey Creek? That's correct, the intersection. Uh, it's on Damari, but uh, close, closer to the, the Honey Creek so intersection. Close to the right across from church. Um, but also close to the memory crossing. Is it the living facility? It, yeah, it is west. So the power pulls out. Yeah. So the power outage is going to affect how it will affect that as well. Yeah, that I don't know. Uh, it will. However, we will notify um, all all customers, especially um, priority customers, which an assistant company would be identified as a priority customer ahead of time to notify them, so that they will likely need to engage their generators. Have a preference, you have an option for G as to whether it's the uh, 10 to 2, 11 to 3, or is it making a difference? Uh, well, I don't know if it makes much difference. Maybe 10 to 2 is a little better. It's both if they happen to run over it, it's definitely more time for a rush hour start. So, in about, like about three days, this is the Thursday, right? Uh, Wednesday, so the no, this one's this yeah, one. This one. Okay. Did you, did you get that list that I sent, the notification list on who to contact? Because I know that you can do that for sure. Um, we'll, we will notify all okay. customers who are impacted by. Well, even okay. like uh, public safety. Oh, and, yes. And, mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I, have, I, I got the link. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, we'll fill that out if, if we receive it. How do, you, how do you notify? I mean, I have to have a short time frame. So they receive an automated call. Um, we identify all the customers on that particular circuit, uh, and we have their uh, phone numbers and call them. Is that good? The Denver and Cross at that time, the nursing home? Okay, good. You're talking about day after tomorrow. Generators, um, I, I, I don't know how long it takes to get those cranked up. I hope so, but um, I will commit to you that I'll make those calls personally. That's my biggest concern. Sure, yeah. sure. No, no, no. I understand. About how many customers will be without know? I, I don't know. I'll let you know. But I, I can look that up and get back to you. We anticipate the work really only taking two hours, but we've asked for a four hour window in case unforeseen circumstances. <clears throat> Other questions, Jean? You may or may not know this, but that pole appears to be very close.
close to a decel length or passing the blister, one of the two, I think it's a decel length. Will they move the pole in any direction to get it away from that? Yeah. So it'll go back to exactly where it is. Exactly. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Okay. Correct. So they're not notified by tomorrow morning. They post in the day and figure out the angles. Most of those generators are pretty automatic. The generator or something. I'm sure it's a facility yeah. Again, I will um, commit that I'll make those calls personally in addition to the robot call that they'll receive. Choice. I move that we approve the request. Second. Yes, yes. James kind. Perfect. Further discussion or questions? Hearing that all in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. It's been out properly sent, Justin. Yep. Go on line. Yep. yep. Can you hear me? We can. Greenwood Park at 55 South. All right. So I'm filling in for uh, Sean Coe for Justin Alashik's Canal Properties on this one. Um, we are going for an acknowledgement of the completion of the improvements on this parcel and the release of performance guarantees. Um, so this site, we uh, it was actually just a, an import of fill material. Um, from an adjacent site. So all we've done out here was um, some earthwork and some erosion control measures. Um, that has been completed. The, the uh, lot is vegetated and erosion control measures have been removed. Um, so we're just hoping to release our performance guarantees here. Paul, can you give us a memo or anything other than that that we need to know? No. I Justin said, yeah, they just brought in fill dirt, but they didn't affect any of the uh, existing drainage patterns or anything. They have stabilized the site, and it is in it good shape. Out of the field. We're just trying to get it developer ready, I think, is what the intent was. Well, I'll move that we grant the, uh, the, the request. Second. Further discussion? Thanks, Justin. Thank you. Can I ask a question? Yes. I'm please. sorry to bounce back, but um, we had put this 409 Broadway on a continuous statement. Yeah. And since he is not here, if it becomes to where the city needs to mow it again, will there be any kind of issue related to that? Barb, let's take that separately. Okay, well, we, we will talk about it. Okay. Um, Justin, we'll go to you, okay? All uh, right, thank you. Thanks. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. I know I'll, yeah. our minds are working the same. I was gonna uh, dress it down under our audience, but we'll, um, let's just go back to that right now. Um, the status of that, uh, since no one is here to pursue the appeal, um, can we simply deny the appeal? Correct. So moved. Sorry. For the discussion. So to address what you're concerned about, or do you need authorization to proceed with enforcement and mode? Well, you've already got authorization. You sent a notice in that he's appealed it and his appeal is done. So you're go ahead and do your job. Okay. Just making sure. All right. Yeah. Correct. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Margo. Yeah. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. So thanks for bringing that back to our attention. Um, next, let's go to uh, Big B Coffee, Sammy Bracken. Sammy, are you with us? We don't think Paul can help us. We talked about Big B Coffee last week and we had some concerns regarding this. There's some ongoing work going on there that we didn't quite understand. So that's well, fine. Yeah, that one surprised me when I heard that. There was, they had an issue with their sanitary sewer. I guess they had a, uh, an overflow or something. Uh, I mean, the items that they're asking for here are unrelated to that, but I guess you continued it to this meeting. 
that's all been resolved. It's actually the county health department that had shut it down and they found that uh, overflow. But they are opening back up the business on that side of things. But that has been taken care of. Yeah, in fact, there's a problem with paper. Yeah, so th this is, uh, they're asking for release of their performance guarantee for um, all the private improvements that they installed out there. There's been an inspection completed. They have proper as built everything is in, in order. Uh, the inspection test my fee's been paid. So uh, we're recommending that you acknowledge the completion of the private improvements and release the performance guarantee for those, those items. I would move that we do that. Second. For the discussion. Here in favor of the aye. Aye. Motion right. passes. Uh, next, go to Elmwood Estates. Uh, Greg, are you with us? I am. How are you guys doing? Good. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? We are here for the acceptance of improvements, maintenance guarantees, performance guarantees, execution of all site easements, and the final plat. There is a couple of conditions, uh, which Paul has made us aware of, that we will take care of. Uh, I'm here to answer any questions. I have a lot of easements. That's yeah. a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're starting like in the southwest corner of the site, section one, but they're sanitary, it goes off site. Quite a ways, and then there's some detention and some storm sewer that goes off site, but it's going to be open for the overall subdivision eventually. But yeah, but we just needed to make sure we have all these easements, and the legal department is in the process of preparing those. They were the exhibits and the legal descriptions were just approved last week, so okay. once that we have them, we can execute them. Other question either for Paul or for Greg? The conditional motion for approval has been suggested to us. Is there a motion to make to make? I would move that we approve the request uh, subject to the two conditions outlined in Paul's report. I'll second that. Further discussion? Very good. All fair say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you. Thank Greg. you. Thank you, guys. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Next, we're going to talk about Bright and Old LLC. Greg Allen. Greg, are you with us? Actually, it's Donna Smithers um, on behalf of Greg. Can you hear me okay? We can, Donna. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Um, Greg actually requested to be on the agenda, but we are, um, our firm is handling the, um, the design and, and plotting for this project for him and also assisting with the, there's an offsite interceptor um, sanitary sewer extension to the, to the property. So um, Greg requested to be on the agenda for Brighton All for acceptance of performance guarantees and acceptance and execution of the inspection and testing agreements. Now, it is my understanding this will be a conditional approval and um, Paul can confirm that, but I don't think all the items are in place at this time. Okay. Paul, yeah. that. there was a lot of activity the last hour of the day. <laughs> uh, only, only one of the conditions, condition A, is still uh, valid. They have now provided the inspection testing agreements and the 50% upfront fees, and they've also provided us a copy of the uh, SAF credit 15 year law agreement that's been executed and recorded. So, really, there is just that one condition now about the uh, receipt of the original performance guarantees. Okay. Questions for Donna or further questions for Paul? I'll move for approval subject to meeting that condition. Second, number A, letter. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Have a good evening. <laughs> Anyone from the audience wish to address us, either in person or online? to Mr. Hudson with the IDM compliance plan status update. Uh, Paul, as well with IDM uh, compliance plan status update, we do have a myth that we need to address um, related to the Western Regional Interceptor. 
um, our contractor failed to get the vegetation planted and some um, cleaning done at the end of the project on the time frame that I had suggested uh, or demanded. Um, that resulted in a $3,500 fine. Uh, the contractor's going to pay it, but since we own the project, uh, the agreed order uh, is with us. Uh, the deadline for accepting the uh, civil penalty, which is much lower than what we started, uh, was such that we needed for the mayor to sign it. We're asking for the draft price. Is the work done? It is done. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a motion to ratify the agreed order? So moved. Second. Further discussion? Say aye. 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 First up is the CD, uh, CDBG uh, grants. Um, we have $10,000 to the Greenwood Education Foundation. It's the first time we've ever seen that. Uh, yes. Yes. Is it? No. Yeah. Okay. Questions for Sam? One minute for approval. Second. Further discussion? Uh, next up is a long treatment contract for all the fancy things that Chuck and Kevin came up to for $10,835.52. Is that an annual claim? Yes. I'll move for approval of that contract. Sorry. Further discussion? Yeah. All right. um, next up is sex and mechanical. It's for HVAC work for the Justice Center. Thirty-six thousand two hundred and change. Correct. Further discussion. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, next up is. An agreement with TurnTech LLC and TurnTech creates devices um, that remove um, germs from the air. They're air purifiers for this um, city building. Questions for Sam? This is a one time installation. Correct. Is there maintenance with it? Or? Yes. And that's included in price? One year, yes. Questions? Motion to approve the request to turn to so the discussion. Yeah. 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 Next up is uh, considerations of professional service agreement with uh, Joe Saylor. Uh, Joe is currently an employee of the city, uh, and he would prefer to be a contractor, um, so he could do some other private things. He wants to do some more um, permit funds. Um, the terms, um, his salary is being um, reduced. Um, but he will be doing nearly all of the tasks he used to do. We just will lose him on Tuesdays, um, all day on Thursday morning. Um, it is a great financial benefit for the city to do this arrangement because he has 10 dependents uh, his pension. So uh, Joe will make more money overall with the city uh, the city benefits. And so I'll move that we approve the PSA with Mr. Saylor. For the discussion, then you're on the PSA. All right. Um, final item is um, we need a company to manage the parking garage when it opens. And um, this is something that will require to solicit bids from them. We need your approval to solicit bids. Sounds like a Mr. Parking Garage. Thanks, Susan. The PS2. You're just, I don't have it. No, no. Yeah. I mean, we approve that request. So, um, for discussion, is there, oh, I know a couple of these, but are there a lot of these? I'm more than I thought. I didn't know there were any besides the yeah. yeah. And there's still the light on the path. For the discussion, is there now on the PSI? All right. Then you'll bring that back to the record. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Enforcement uh, request, easement enforcement request, the docket for me, Paul. This is something that you've just been given to us, and we have a new procedure for keeping it as regular, whereby 
uh, your office addresses them and if there's problems, then you bring it to us. And so we just sign off on the docket. docket. So um, is there a motion to approve that docket? So moved. Second. <laughs> we really don't like the second motion. <laughs> If you'll pass that along, Paul will take care of Okay. Um, you all move vote for approval of the fire signature on that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, 2022 CCNG full deck reconstruction to reconstruction near a related project. A lot of words. Yes, it is. Uh, this was for the installation of new concrete curbing left with a former brick curbing was that former brick inlet uh, would not allow for the proper connection of, a, of the six inch undercranes that we're putting in. So uh, we thought it best to replace that brick structure so it would be a, a new structure, a solid structure to tie into. And to keep the project moving, uh, Mark St. John City in here and work with the all-star painting on this to, to keep it going and they were able to get the work completed a day or two after the initial discussion so we're more or less really asking you to ratify the approval of change we're going on in that amount 32 32 yeah so moved second further discussion right now i'll pay say aye aye right. right. thank you Thank you, Paul. Mr. Wright, anything from your office? Nothing for me. Thank you. Mr. Rappaport. I will move that we approve the claim. Second. Further discussion? Here we go. I'll say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you very much. So we'll stand adjourned at 6 01 p.m. Thank you.